Welcome to the 5-Minute Business Boost, where you get to choose your 5-Minute Investment. I'm your host, Sam Hicks, and I'll be discussing topics under the headings of business development, marketing, photography, and much more. Today, I'm talking about the importance of staying up to date with social media trends for small business owners. So let's get started with a quick social media trend overview. Viewing your feeds on any platform you will see the rise of short form video content and how it is impacting social media platforms. Yes, I know there's longer form video too, but with waning attention spans, everybody is loving the short form. You can just see how people are engaging with it. I'm a big fan. I love short form video. I can flick to my heart's content in stolen moments between clients or school pickups or committee meetings. A recent HubSpot marketing report dubbed short form video as the most popular and effective social media content format for 2023, this year. So it makes real sense that small business owners or the small business marketing managers in all of us needs to consider and or invest in short form video with our social media strategies. Too many S's there. So what is short form video? Short form video content is defined as any video material that is less than 60 seconds long. While other marketers believe it can be up to as long as, including three minutes. So these short form videos are intended to be bite-sized, readily digestible chunks of content that viewers may browse through and watch multiple times at once, or even better, send on to their friends or their loved ones. You know, in our case, just to send it on to the other half to annoy the crap out of him, but it works. Okay, so let's embrace for a few moments live streaming. Now, I think people fall into two camps those who love live streaming and those who don't. So love it or hate it, the growing popularity of live streaming is happening. It's growing, people. And businesses can use it to connect with their audiences in real time. And some people are really good at it. I know you love a good stat. Well, I'm hoping you do because I do. But statistics and facts about live streaming is pretty mind-blowing. So the popularity of live streaming as a format originated I think in the entertainment industry especially in the gaming world so the main platforms of the sector gathered roughly 7.2 billion hours of material seen during the third quarter of 2022 that is absolutely mind-boggling I can't even fathom that that's a lot of hours of short form video and live streaming because I sort of tend to roll it into one. Now, I know that boomers amongst us will say, but that's for the younger generation. But if you ever look around on TikTok, there's a hell of a lot of older people, older business owners on TikTok that are playing. They're dabbling. They're putting their feet in the water, so to speak. They're doing live streaming. They're doing short form video. And we're all watching it. So if it sounds like you, it's probably us. (laughs) Anyway. So now I need to mention the increasing importance of social commerce and how businesses can make it easier for customers to shop directly from their social media pages. Now, I love social commerce. I don't know about you guys, but, you know, I'm the first one to go, oh, that looks interesting. I might buy that. And then when it arrives, I think, why did I buy that? No, I'm only kidding. But I like the fact that three clicks on social media and it's purchased and it's on its way. So I think brands should not overlook the growing trend of this social commerce and what they can gain from it in a variety of ways, including the potential to reach a broader audience and sell things directly on social media. Brands can begin adopting social commerce by establishing a social media presence first, defining their social commerce strategy, you know me, I love a good plan, and selling those things then that they want to through that strategy using social media technologies such as social commerce. So the impact of social media trends on small businesses can help. It can help those small businesses reach a wider audience, increase brand awareness and drive sales. The best part. Examples of social media trends that have been particularly successful for businesses are trends such as user-generated content, which they call UGC, influencer marketing and social media challenges. Even the trends matched with the latest trends in music themes or causes can work and raise awareness. Recently, I created a TikTok video with no trend. So it's just a plain old boring video. And it only got 242 plays. The 
following day, I did a video about the flooding creek near our local community hall. And whammo, we're up to over a thousand plays. The difference between the two videos, I used CapCut, which is a wonderful little app for making awesome videos, short form videos and so forth in TikTok or to use in TikTok. And TikTok and um, CapCut seem to have this very good relationship where you can make it in Cap cut and share it across the TikTok and it takes all the branding off, which is pretty cool. So I used CapCut and picked the most trending music and trending template for the video. Nearly a thousand plays, pretty cool. Anyway, small businesses can use social media trends to stay competitive and differentiate themselves from the larger businesses. Just think of some of these trends as a short form video, you know, the old YouTube trends, social commerce, and the most liked content creators who continue to build a community rather than followers. This can be you. I see many small businesses, Australian, using short form video now to create brand awareness. The thing is, you've got to be consistent at it and keep at it. Play, try your trends. So <clears throat> then, how can small business owners leverage Instagram, TikTok and LinkedIn? And LinkedIn is one of these big things at the moment because LinkedIn sort of gone through a few changes. But let's start off with Instagram. So with Instagram, you need to use high quality visuals, creating engaging captions and using those relevant hashtags. TikTok, it's about creating short, engaging videos that are relevant to your target audience or your followers. And you need to participate in popular trends. Now, I don't mean to say you've got to do every popular trend. Pick ones that resonate with you or make you laugh. LinkedIn, you need to be able to share valuable and informative content, connect with professionals in your industry, and build relationships with potential customers and partners. In a nutshell, make sure you comment on posts and interact. Be supportive. And then the last consideration is staying ahead of the curve. God damn it, how do we do that when we're all so busy? So, you need to stay informed. So, because we have so much time on our hands, insert sarcasm emoji here, you need to be able to try to do the following. You need to follow some industry experts and influencers on social media. Even if you don't like or interact with their accounts, just see what they're doing. What are they doing that is resonating with people so much? Are they being authentic? Are they being themselves? Are they using humour? You know, are they picking topics that are topical? Are they picking topics that are topical? Just made that one up. You need to see if you can find some interesting industry blogs and publications about what the trends are. Attend social media conferences, mini courses and workshops. So that's either in person or online so that you can stay up with what is happening. Experiment with new features and content forms on social media. I like doing that and half of my stuff doesn't even get posted. But have a play, learn how to do it. Anywho, I hope this has given you some inspiration and understanding of the importance of staying up to date with social media trends. You have to as a small business, you've got to wear all of those mini little hats. So thanks for listening to the 5-Minute Business Boost. For more information, follow me on social media, sign up for my newsletter, or check out my website for up-and-coming workshops, courses, and see how we can work together to reach your small business goals. Remember, anything is possible, especially in the northeast of Victoria. So cheerio. Until next time. Bye.